Okay, having another little look at subtraction then. So um, subtraction follows the same process as addition. So first of all, you need to write them out uh, in your column subtraction. Uh, here I have, can see that I've got the same amount of digits, but I will still write this one backwards just to make sure. And then put in, pop in that it's a subtraction there as well. So um, six take away two is four. Zero take away eight. So remember this is if I have nothing and I want to try and take away eight, can I do it? The answer is no, I can't do it. I can't take away. So I want to borrow from my neighbour. Ah, oh, I can't quite borrow from this neighbour, so I need to borrow again from the other neighbour. Ah, oh, I can borrow from that one. So I can make that neighbour a three and make that a ten. Now I can borrow, so I can make that a nine and make me a ten. So ten take away eight is two. 9 take away 7 is 2, 3 take away 1 is 2. So my final answer is 2,224. So then just showing you another example. Um, similar process again. So start with your writing your digits out and then going from the end. This time, I do have some gaps here that I am going to fill in just so that I don't get confused. Um, so I'm showing you this one because sometimes questions will try to trick you and give you numbers with loads of zeros. So you have to do loads and loads of exchanging and borrowing and things like that. So um, I just thought I would show you that one. So zero take away four. So I have nothing and I want to take away four. I can't do it. Have to borrow from my friend. Can't borrow from there or there or there, but I can from here. So that one becomes a zero. That becomes a 10 cross that out, make that a 9, make that a 10, cross that one out, make that a 9, make this one a 10, cross that one out, make that a 9, make that a 10. Now I've got a sum that I can do. So 10 take away 4 is 6, 9 take away 9 is 0, 9 take away 8 is 1, 9 take away 0 is 9, nothing take away nothing is zero and I will put that in just to help me. So here 10,000 take away 894 is 9,106 and we're just going to show you one more that it involves decimal numbers just to show you. So remember with decimal numbers always start with lining up that decimal point so I know I've got two decimal points. These are really good for obviously like money questions um, and we can have a go at those. So here I've got a one a four and a one, 14.1, I'm gonna put the other one above it actually. And then the other one is 89.2. Okay, and I know that's a subtraction. So two take away one is one, decimal points always stay the same. Nine take away four is five, eight take away one is seven, that will end up being my final answer. So 89.2 take away 14.1 is 75.1.